Hey everyone, Alan Kavana, keeping you up to speed from our newsroom in Charlotte, North Carolina. The NASCAR world, of course, out in the desert of Phoenix, where everyone in the Sprint Cup Series is eager to see how these Generation 6 cars will perform on an intermediate track. One of the biggest stories coming out of the season's first race was the performance of rookie Danica Patrick. She finished eighth in the Daytona 500, but says this week is where the real test begins. She admits it will take a lot of work to get herself consistently in the top 10. I need to keep reali realistic expectations, and I think everybody else does too. Daytona is a very unique place, and um, this is kind of where the bulk of the season really starts. So, you know, things like being able to get up to speed quickly and knowing what I want in the car and how to push it to its limit and what its limit is are things that are going to be, you know, begin to be tested now. Patrick finished 30th in the first practice on Friday, a practice dominated by Toyotas, including all of Joe Gibbs Racing. Matt Kenseth paced the field at more than 137 miles per hour. Phoenix marks the first race for the Gen 6 car on a non-plate track, a car that now has a larger spoiler and softer tires. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. sees opportunity. I'm hoping that the tires a big change because I haven't ran, ran good here since uh, they repaved the place, and I'm hoping a tire, you know, changing the tire might be a, a move in a, in a good direction for just me personally. So we'll just have to see. And all that Toyota speed we saw in practice translated over into qualifying. Mark Martin will start on the pole.